it's DJ Case UK back with another video on Acid Pro. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install plugins for Acid Pro. If you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and I'll be doing lots more videos on Acid Pro. With that being said let's get into this video how to install plugins for Acid Pro. So before I get started I just want to show you what plugins are. Now you have three types of plugins. You have instruments or what I call practical plugins which allow you to physically make a sound and then you have visual plugins which will allow you to see in more detail what you're doing inside Acid Pro and then you have effects plugins which will physically change the the sound and I call these enhancement plugins because they actually enhance the sound that you're making so you've also got things like EQs where you can you know change the EQ or you've got you know distortion plugins where you can add a distortion or reverb plugins and then you also have what I call visual plugins so visual plugins don't actually make any sounds but they give you more visuals as to what you're doing so this one is a, an, a frequency analyst tool so when I play a sound it actually allows me to see the sound this doesn't actually make any sounds but it allows me to visualize the sound okay so you've got three types of plugins instrument plugins or practical tools visual tools that don't make sounds but they allow you to see more what's going on and then effects plugins which don't make sounds but they enhance your sound such as reverb or distortion okay so to load these plugins if it's an instrument then you would add a synth so you can go to your mixing console and insert a synth and then you can load an instrument from the list and depending on what plugins you have installed you'll have more on the list so these are the ones which I use all the time and if I want to add something so let's say I want to add uh, this raster box or serum I just select it and then click OK and now it will add in that instrument and allow me to use it if it's an effect um, on the on here you can't add an effect onto a synth instrument but you can from the mixing console so if you click this button either on a sound or on a synth or on the master bus if you click the button um, it's called edit insert effects chain so let's say I want to put an effect on this synth here click this button and then I can select something that I want to um, an effect that I want to add on it so let's say I want to put on um, some reverb I just select uh, the reverb from the, the list click add and then it will start a chain an effects chain so you can also put multiple effects in, in a chain so let's say I want to put some reverb and then after the reverb I want to have some compression I can select that click add and now it's started to build the chain so it's going to go from reverb into the compressor and you can build your effects chain and then let's say I want to visualize the sound as well so I put my frequency analytic tool on the end so now I have a chain so click OK so now I've started a chain so here's my reverb into the three band compressor and then I can visualize what's going on at the end of the chain okay so that's how to add a plugin in and to install them you need to find your download plugin so you can see here I've got loads downloaded these ones are different effects 
these ones are different instruments. So I have quite a lot of uh, different instruments. These all work with Acid Pro. These are more um, effects um, tools, mostly visual plugins that allow me to see what's going on. These all work with Acid Pro. And then th this is more instruments over here. Now, the reason why I've got these in different folders is because of the way that you install them. Okay, so usually when you get uh, download a plugin, it will come in a zip file like this. And inside the zip file, you're either going to have an installation file or you're just going to have um, a couple of files inside here. So I'll just look at this one, for example. Okay, so inside here, look, it's got a JPEG that just shows you what, what it looks like. It's got some notes or sometimes you might have a, a license file that just gives you a license to use that plugin. And then it's this file here. So this is the important file, .dll. So um, I've separated them because of the way that you install them. So some of them you can just drop into your VST plugin folder. So if I load my VST plugin folder, so here's my VST plugin folder, C drive, program files, VST plugins. These are the ones which I've already got installed. So there's um, Massif and then the um, reverb down here. Okay, so uh, these are the ones which I use all the time. Now, the reason I don't have every single plugin in here is because Acid will run a lot faster if you have less plugins installed. The more plugins you have, you know, it does take up more memory. So I like to just have the ones which I use all the time. And if I'm if I need something, I'll add it into here. Okay, so to add it in is it varies. So the reason why these ones are in separate folders is because these ones you have you actually have to install them. So here, look, there's an installation file, and to make this plugin work, you you actually have to double click on it and install it onto your computer. And then make sure that the DLL file is inside your VST plugin folder. Same with uh, these ones over here. So here's Massive. I actually have to install it onto the computer and make sure that the DLL file is inside here. Now I like to create a, a folder. So if I'm installing something, I like to create a folder like this so that I can keep everything organized. Because let's say I want to, I've made a new sound or a, a a new effect I can save that for later use so if I keep all of my folders like this it allows me to you know if I'm saving a file I can keep everything organized in there so so these these plugins you can just drop them in VST folders so if you go in to um, so here is um, lots of different synths so these are all different synths and these ones I can just drop them straight into here there's no installation file I can just drop them straight in VST folder so let's say so let's say I want to install uh, let's say I want to install this one so this is a B station synth so I click in here and I can just copy this into my VST folder so if I right click like I say I like to keep everything organized so I create a new folder I call it call this one B station which is the name of the synth and then I just copy that into there and that one will now work okay there's no installation folder when you go into the zip file there's no installation folder it's just DLL file which I can put into my VST plugin folder. However, these ones over here, these ones have to physically be installed. So for example, if I wanted to use this one, I would actually have to install it onto the computer first and then make sure that the, so here it is, installation and make sure that it is installing it into the into the VST plugin folder. 
So on this one, I would actually, so yeah, it's going into the right folder, but also, like I say, I like to keep things organized. So I will, so what I would do with this one is I would actually create a, a folder inside the VST plugin. So I've now just put it in there, click next. Now, this part here, if you're using ACID Pro 7 or below, then it will only accept 32-bit plugins. If you're using anything above ACID Pro 7, then you can also run 64-bit plugins, okay? Um, and what this is doing, look, is it's gonna create this DLL file. So our ACID Pro is just loading. It does take a while if you've got lots of plugins installed. So this is why I tend to only have a few plugins installed at a time because it just makes things a bit quicker. Okay, so now when I insert a, an instrument, that B station is now showing here, look. When I add a synth, B station is now there. So I click OK. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so it really depends on what kind of plugin it is as to how you open it. So if it's a, an instrument, you need to Add a, add a synth and then load it off the synth menu or if it's an effect plugin then you can press your button for adding effects and then you will find it in here now sometimes some plugins might not work and they will show up in the failed folder or in the ignored folder I like to ignore ones that I don't use so I don't really use these so I've just ignored them so that they're not in the way Okay, and sometimes if you've installed a plugin, it might not show because ACID Pro can't find it. Now, that's why it's really important to make sure that it goes into your VST folder. Sometimes when you install a plugin, either you forgot to put it into the, this folder or you've installed it into, or sometimes it just installs it into a different folder. You doesn't, it doesn't give you a choice putting it into here. So as long as it's installed, you can make a copy of the DLL file, put it into here, and that should work. But if it's still not showing, then what you can do is go into your plugin manager uh, tab. So there's a tab here called plugin manager. If you click this button, you can see all of the folder that is looking for the plugins. So at the moment, the default is C drive program files, VST plugins, but you can then add other folder for ACID Pro to search in. So you could put another folder where your plugins are installed into. So if you don't do this, then ACID Pro won't find them. So that's really important to make sure that it, it goes into the into the right folder. So you need to make sure that it goes into your VST plugin folder. So here's all the ones I have installed. And they will just show up here. If I insert an instrument, or if it's an effect, or a visual tool, then it will show up in the, uh, in the audio plugin tab. So there's this tab here, audio plugin. So when I add... When I start an effects chain, so you can put a whole load of these in a chain. So here's an EQ. Then I can add another one. And I can build a chain of different effects. So I could have four band EQ. Then I want it to have some reverb. And then I want to visualize what's going on. So then I can add my analytic tool. And I've got a little chain here. So I, I can now select my EQ, put some EQ on it. That goes into the reverb, so then I can put some reverb on, and then I can visualize what's happening with this tool. Okay, so that's how to install plugins, um, instrument plugins, and effects plugins, and visual help tools. Um, and that's it on this video. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to subscribe, hit like, share the video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. If you found this content useful, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you want to see on the next video.